everyone, it's Pebbles and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be my video on what rocked my nails for the month of September. So if you're interested in seeing what nail polishes I was sporting in the month of September, please stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing I would, um, I'm going to show you are these nail polishes that I got in my Mimi box and they're from Hope Girl. And there's three different colors and I did a design on my nails, which I normally don't do designs because I'm not good at it. These are the colors that were in the box. So you have a um, peachy gold, an iridescent shimmery, um, darker gold, and then you've got this gold, um, this is more of a tan color actually, and then you have the gold sparkle. So what I did is they tell you, they give you instructions on the back on different designs. So it ended up looking like candy corn that you buy for Halloween when I finish my nails and you'll see when I insert the photo. Now, um, this is my t take on these. They were horrible. <laughs> they lasted probably a whole hot second on my nails. I put them on and then the next day, not even like probably the in the evening after I applied the nail polish on and this was a long time like eight hours later it started to peel and push back on my nail as if it was still wet so these don't really dry solid and I found that they were horrible their wear time is horrible they are very pretty but honestly I am not a big fan of this uh, hope girl uh, nail polish and yeah I think that if I get a Mimi box I'm uh, hopefully going to not get any more nail polishes because I haven't tried any of the other nail polishes obviously this, these were my first nail polishes that I got and I just feel that the formula is not long lasting they are pretty like I said however they just were a fail for me so yeah, I wouldn't uh, recommend if any of you are looking to buy the Hope Girl nail polish, this particular set, I wouldn't recommend. Maybe other formulas are better, but this one here was not. I was wearing this awesome metallic OPI color. This is one of the Gwen Stefani um, nail polishes, and this is called push and shove and this is a beautiful metallic color you're not supposed to put a top coat when you wear this I found that it definitely is a beautiful shiny metallic silver and it does last a long time OPI is fabulous I find that they do last a long time on your nails and I never had tried this out I bought this last year and I was like I still hadn't worn it so I thought okay let me try it and I absolutely love it I think that um, this is a great color to wear for the holidays days and it definitely is metallic and I would recommend this and I absolutely love it. The next polish was an uh, Essie polish and this is in the color Damsel in a Dress and this is a beautiful purple color and there's some sheen to it. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. And on top of that, I put on a shimmer coat of the OPI Shimmer. And this was called Chasing Rainbows. And this is this beautiful iridescent glitter with multi colors in it. And unfortunately, when you see my picture, I did a horrible job with my manicure. I've got uh, nail color on my cuticles. I took the photo before I cleaned my cuticles and yeah it's horrendous so don't judge me for a horrible nail painting job but these two together were absolutely beautiful I really love them very fall these are great fall colors duo was okay so I bought this color here from wet and wild it's this beautiful vibrant blue and this is called saved by the blue 230 C and it's just this gorgeous metallic -y blue and over top of it I put this uh, Maybelline color show jewels and this is in precious pearl 600 
and it's just like this white sparkle and I put it over top of the blue and it's absolutely beautiful. I really love this nail polish and I think that this here, these, this white glitter will go good on any dark nail polish and I love this two the two combinations together and yeah, it was just gorgeous and very inexpensive these two here. I know that Formula X from Sephora has something similar and they want like $16 and I paid $4 for this one here. So there is a dupe if you are interested in that Formula X color. I would highly recommend getting the Maybelline one because it's a, like way cheaper. So short and sweet, that is it. That's all I wore for the month of September. I am so excited for the month of October. I'm sporting some nice dark colors and I can't wait to share these colors and uh, everything with you. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you did and I hope to see you all in my next video. Thanks so much for watching and have yourselves a beautiful day. Ciao for now.